If you want to be a successful nightclub photographer or videographer, this is the secret weapon. Hey doing guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to use nightclub images or videos. So as a nightclub photographer or videographer, your role is to turn up and make that party look amazing. So when people see that content or they see the images or whatever you've created, they look at it and go, man, I've gotta to go to that next party. That is your one job. Sure, you can turn up, you can dance, you can drink, you can have an amazing time. As long as you fulfill that purpose, you hit that objective, you're gonna be successful. But here is where the secret lies, okay? What you create, you're creating this really powerful resource for promoters. So you're not just taking pictures and then sending them over. Now I know a large part of my career, that's what I was doing. I was taking pictures and I was sending them to clients. That was it. I thought it looked cool, I took pictures, I created a style, people were happy job done. That's not how to run a business. If you want to run a business, you have to add value to what you create and educate people how to use what you've created. So, you know, the analogy I will use is you can put any idiot in a Formula One car. It does not mean they will win races. Like what you have to know about cars and driving and stuff that comes over years. Okay. Your job is to make that party look amazing. If you hand a file of 200, 300 images over to a party that wasn't that busy or wasn't that exciting, you give them to a promoter and that promoter is uneducated, they will go and dump all those images on Facebook without using them strategically. There is no value. The work you put in to make that party look exciting in the small parts that you could because maybe it wasn't busy is lost. You've lost all the value in what you've done because the promoter hasn't strategically known how to use those images. This is where you become super, super important to this process. You have to educate the promoter how to use those images. If you can understand how those images are best used and you can serve that purpose of creating those images that are exciting or that video looks exciting, and you can hand them to a promoter and show them how to use it or educate them how to use it, they will love you forever. They will come back again and again and again because you know how to create this amazing content and also know how to utilize it. So in terms of how to use your nightclub photography, when I first used to start, I would go and make an album of four or 500 images for you know, a two, three hour night in a pretty rundown club with no capacity. That has no value. I've taken pictures of every single person four or five times. The reality is every person in a club has a mobile phone and will be taking videos and photos throughout the course of the night. An additional four more photos from the photographer are kind of meaningless. Unless within those four photos, there is an image that really evokes emotion or an exciting moment at that party. So you can look at those four images of a certain person that you may have taken and you find the one that has the most amount of energy. You call that image to the side and you put it in a folder and you call that like the, you know, the money shots basically. You then complete the whole album looking for these images of money shots. Now my advice for a party would be, oh, 60 to 100 images, max. Maybe a festival you would go more, a couple of hundred, okay? Because it's a bigger, bigger part of, it's a bigger production, there's more stages, there's more people, you can go into the hundreds, that's fine. But for parties, keep it to less than 100, you know, 60 to 100 images with real impact. If you can't reach 100, give, you know, as many good images as you can give. Now, go to the promoter, send them all the images and say, look, here are all the images, Keep these images for later dates. You might want to use them for marketing purposes next year or, or so on and so forth. But in this folder, this is the creme de la creme. This is the lick. This is, this is the secret sauce that is going to make your party exciting. And you tell the promoter, these are the images that you want to upload. You don't want to upload them all at once. Okay? You want to upload them staged. So you might release some a week after the party or a couple of days after the party. Then you do some two weeks after the party, knowing full well that you have maybe another party in four weeks or six weeks time. And you use that content to keep your existing fan base engaged and draw a new fan base into this exciting uh, party. If you can educate a promoter how to do that, your job of turning up and taking pictures is, is super valuable to what they do. And the benefit of that is long term. Okay, cool, man. So your party is really kicking off. It looks amazing. People are interacting with the content you're putting out. Let's talk about money. You know, I, I'm, I'm coming here, I'm shooting this. Can we negotiate terms? Can we agree on a retainer? Can we agree on some sort of, you know, some, some sort of sort of 
can we agree on some sort of terms that give me security? So you secure me for your next six parties or your next 12 parties, and you start to educate them how to use these images. That will make you a better photographer because you will really start to see the value in what you're creating. You'll get better at culling images that have no emotional value, and you'll also get better at holding conversations and educating promoters. If you are an educator in any field, you can always demand the highest price you will always be respected. And what you'll also do is people will be drawn to you because people who may want to throw a party and don't know how to throw a party and want to bring in a videographer or a photographer and they're like, who do we go and speak to? Lo and behold, you've created a YouTube video talking about how to use nightclub photography and nightclub videos. They go, oh cool, this is the guy I need to talk to. So then they get on the phone because you've positioned yourself as an expert. And you can do that in any industry with nightclub photography, where you are, or, or videography, in a small geographic area like a city or, or, or even a country, you know, you can become the go-to guy that really shows people how to use their content. Now, how do I know this? I've done this. This is the process that I've worked on over the last few years to be able to create the name I have with myself, to be able to go and do big talks on stages, to be recognized as a nightclub photographer, be recognized as an expert in my field. It is the process I've used. So if you see me and, and put me on a pedestal in any way, First of all, I'm, I'm hugely privileged that you would see me like that, and I really appreciate the support from the people that do support me. First, like, let's just get it straight. I eat and shit like everybody else. There's, there's no reason to put anybody on a pedestal. We are all the same, okay? But if you do look at me and think, that's the kind of guy or that's the kind of career that I would like to aspire to, watch this video. Implement it. It works. When I decided I wanted to change my genre of photography from a nightclub photography, nightclub photographer, to a portrait photographer. I started to build a portfolio in, in press images. I then started to look at how press images are using. I read loads of books on EPKs. I downloaded loads of artists EPKs. I started to understand how the images that I was shooting were being used by the end user. And once I understood that process, I could then really bring value to it because people weren't just coming to me to take pictures. People came to me because they knew the pictures that they would get from me were 100% usable for how they wanted to use them. And they would come to me for advice and then they would share this advice with other people. And I used the same process I used for nightclub photography to do portrait photography of DJs. Off the back of that, I've shot you know, most of the biggest credible DJs in the world by using this process. And if you are a nightclub photographer, and you specialize in other types of photography or you're considering moving into other fields, this recipe is exactly the same. Wherever you go, it's exactly the same, okay? Like, it is literally exactly the same. Position yourself as an expert, understand how to use what you are creating, educate your audience in using it precisely. What that will do is it will bring immense value to your work and credibility to you as an artist, it will also build up a huge base of supporting clients that really back you and reference you. When, any, when everybody asks for work, they'll be like, oh, this is the person you need to go speak to because they're super credible and they know what they're talking about. So in summary, that kind of gives you a bit of an insight to how I have done what I've done in the period of time that I have. And ultimately, the question is, how do you use nightclub photography you know, or videography? Understand that process and utilize it in any field and you will become an expert. Until next time, guys, I will see you later. Thanks for listening. Um, if you want to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram, Facebook is Luke Curtis Photography. Instagram is LukeCurtis.co.uk. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe. You know, If you've liked any of these videos, subscribe. If you think that you would like me to create a video based on the question you have, subscribe. Send me a message. Say, Luke, I really like your videos. I've got this question. I've just subscribed. I will then create a video for you and hopefully answer your questions. I wish you all the success in your career and I will see you next time. Take care.